The Earl and Lucille Flanders Award is named for the late Earl and Lucille Flanders, founders of the Flanders Company. The Flanders' involvement in the motorcycle industry and also the trailblazers dated back to the early days of motorcycling. The prestigious Flanders Award honors those with the same kind of support and commitment to the sport of motorcycling as the Flanders displayed in their lifetime. This year, the recipient is Chris Agagenian. Chris started working at racetracks in the mid-1950s. His first job, at just seven years of age, was at Gardena Stadium, placing numbers on the scoreboard as the laps counted down. Chris grew up at Ascot, around his father and promoter, J.C. Agajanian. First selling 35 cent programs to the motorcycle fans, and later learning to be one of the country's top dirt track and speedway promoters. In the early 1970s, J.C. asked Chris to try promoting the failing Thursday night motocross at Ascot that was about to be canceled. Chris accepted the challenge, and when Thursday night motocross reopened, there were 236 riders and the line went around the block. Chris was hooked on being a motorcycle racing promoter, but also had an interest in music. And after graduating from USC in 1973, he ended up working with artists like Gary Wright, Stephen Stills, even George Harrison of the Beatles. When JC asked him to work full-time at Ascot, Chris did so with the caveat that JC would agree to invest money in revamping the facility. The old incandescent lights and poles were replaced with state-of-the-art sports lighting. He put billboards all the way around the racetrack. The wooden crash wall was replaced with flat metal railing with stacked tires on top. Chris enhanced spectator safety when he sunk 42 thick-walled steel poles in concrete from turn one through four and threaded six heavy-duty cables all the way around, topping each pole with loudspeaker horns that connected to the new PA system. Years later, Chris developed the northern part of the 44-acre Ascot parcel. He added a 5,000-seat Speedway motorcycle stadium, complete with energy-absorbing crash walls. He put Speedway on television as executive producer of his own weekly national television program, Speedway America. In addition to this state-of-the-art stadium, a first-class bicycle motocross track was built and operated, and the popular Ascot Slick track was developed. Chris also expanded AMA dirt track racing when he paved the way for motorcycle races to be held at more thoroughbred facilities. His efforts to stage races at the Pomona Fairgrounds soon blossomed. At the closing of Ascot, Chris specialized in presenting AMA Grand National Championship motorcycle races to sell out crowds at beautiful one-mile thoroughbred horse tracks, like the elegant Del Mar Fairgrounds, Seattle's Emerald Downs, the Pomona Fairplex, Lone Star Park in Dallas, the Sacramento Mile, the Albuquerque Mile, and many, many others. He also initially spearheaded the development of the California Speedway in Fontana. Chris Agajanian brought motorcycle racing to the masses on television with dirt track and TT racing on Wide World of Sports and later Speedway racing on ESPN. Along the way, hundreds of television shows and movies used Ascot for racing scenes, plot twists, and stunts. Some of Hollywood's top stars came to Ascot as Chris's guests, including Paul Newman, James Garner, Evo Knievel, and Steve McQueen. Chris received Promoter of the Year honors several times and became one of the most successful promoters of AMA Grand National Championship racing events. Later, he was president of the dirt track division of Clear Channel Entertainment, the largest producers of motorcycle, automotive, and special events in the world. Today, Chris is preserving the legacy of Ascot with a successful apparel business. He had to fight more than once to get the Ascot logos and content back. The Ascot brand is selling well and sharing the history of the heroes who raced there and the legacy that is Ascot. The Trailblazers proudly honor Chris Agajanian with the Earl and Lucille Flanders Award. <laughs>